Tonight, a push to fill two vacant House seats in the Miami-Dade area and parts of Osceola and Orange counties. Well, right now, candidates are already stepping up to throw their hats in the ring, but there is one problem. A special election has yet to be called. And tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell spoke to a Bay Area lawmaker calling on the governor to take action. House Democrats say time is of the essence. If they don't call these elections soon, the next legislative session will start and the residents of those two districts won't have any representation in Tallahassee. That's why Representative Fentress Driscoll sent Governor Ron DeSantis this letter asking him to call a special election for two vacant House seats. I think that the governor is distracted by his own ambitions in terms of running for president of the United States, and he's not paying good attention to what's happening here at home. The District 118 seat became vacant last month when Republican Representative Juan Fernandez Barquin was appointed as Miami-Dade Clerk of Court. And District 35 seat became vacant when Republican Representative Fred Hawkins resigned in June to take over as president at South Florida State College. Political expert Jeff Swartz thinks Governor DeSantis may be dragging his feet since District 35 has been in the mix of the Disney Reedy Creek drama. He is afraid this seat will flip because people who are angry at Republicans over what has happened in Reedy Creek are the people that are going to turn out. But as far as stalling goes, Swartz says the rules are pretty cut and dry. Based upon the statute, he is required candidate or candidates who want to run for this office have the ability to show a court that they are being harmed by this delay, that the people within that district are being harmed by being unrepresented, and that the court should issue a writ of mandamus requiring the governor to set a date. Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. Driscoll's letter says even after the governor sets a date, it could take up to 162 days before results are certified. She says we are 176 days away from the next legislative session, which is why she wants the governor to take action. We've reached out to the governor's office but are still waiting to hear back.